I knew we could share gifts, but what is more important than that? You see, the understanding of what this workshop is going to be continues to evolve almost daily for me. But what I'm discovering now, at first I thought it was about sharing the gifts, but let's consider something much more profound and how it's affecting my life. The real thing that's happening with this new technique is it's putting me at a much higher percentage in my life into states of intense joy, gratitude, love, happiness. Now there's no temptation to go into the negative ego. We can share states of consciousness with each other directly, but we don't have words for it because somebody else's state of consciousness isn't a verbal kind of thing. It's an experience. And so what at one of the points when I figured it out, I have a friend here who's a really brilliant distant healer. So I showed him how to run the energy and I showed him how to do the heart work. And then I showed him about the spiritual anatomy that I'll teach in my workshop. And he and I was at this party for about two and a half hours and I was feeling kind of antisocial, like, I don't know if I really want to be here. And, you know, I don't really not really connecting to the people and I'm kind of feeling tired. Maybe I should just go. And then I run into Gil and I say, hey, why don't you send me, you know, some of your healing energy? And I showed him how about the spiritual anatomy and what it felt like was, oh, my God, I felt like I just had three grams of mushrooms. I was suddenly high and I'm slapping his shoulder going, what the heck did you do to me, man? And I'm feeling very social, outgoing, and my energy came back. I'm, I'm dancing, I'm having a great time. And then I realized, oh my God, this is how we do it. And we're able. So what is it that we're sharing? See, I knew we could share gifts, but what is more important than that? You see, the understanding of what this workshop is going to be continues to evolve almost daily for me because I still got another three, four months before the workshop happens to have more insight. I could teach it today. It would be fantastic. But I'm excited that I'm having so many more insights before the thing even begins. And what I'm coming to understand. Well, let me tell you one more story. The woman who helped me find this place, I'm living in Mexico now again. And the woman who helped me find this place she confided in me after I signed the contract, the lease on it. She said that um, she's always been really nervous all her life, just scared. Now, my old approach would have been, well, did you learn that from mom or dad? Did you, you know, how do we release the hurt, anger, the shame, the guilt, the fears, whatever is holding it in place? How do we forgive ourselves for carrying it all this extra time? How do we process that out? How do we build a new identity? How do we find a new space? Okay, that's where I would have gone with it. But maybe she's willing to let the past go. Maybe she's ready now to let the past be done. So I said, can I give you a gift? And she said, sure. So I'm going to meditate for like 30 seconds. And I meditate in a special way that I'll be teaching. And I say, okay, did you feel anything? Now, she has no background in energy healing or any of this stuff. She says, yeah, I'm feeling a lot. Well, what are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling all this tingling around my face and my neck and my chest. And, and I said, well, if, you, if I gave you a box of chocolate and you didn't open the box, was it a gift? No. Well, if you take one bite and throw the box away, did you receive it? Not really. What you'd have to do is you'd have to bite every piece and savor it. So I said, you can feel this now, can't you? She says, yeah. I said, well, why don't you take 20 or 30 seconds and let yourself feel it more deeply? So she does. And then I say, now, what I want you to do is 20 or 40 or 50 times a day. I just want to let you let yourself feel this. There's no work. She could be driving. She could be walking. She could be at the bank. She could be writing a contract. It doesn't matter because she can just let herself feel. It's not intellectual. So it doesn't interfere with your life. I see her about five or six days later. I said, how are you feeling? She says, 
I'm hardly nervous anymore. I'm thinking, oh my God. But what I'm discovering now, at first I thought it was about sharing the gifts, but let's consider something much more profound and how it's affecting my life. The real thing that's happening with this new technique is it's putting me at a much higher percentage in my life into states of intense joy, gratitude, love, happiness. Now there's no temptation to go into the negative ego. Why would I want to find suffering if I'm feeling joyful? You can't inhabit, or inhi inhabit, yes. You can't inhabit pain mm -hmm. and suffering if you're feeling joy and gratitude. There's, you, you can't be outdoors if you're indoors. You can't, you, doesn't happen. And there's no reason to feel better than other people because you're feeling good. And then there's something else even more interesting, which is that in my life, I've often had the idea, well, you know, the world isn't seeing my work and I really want to get it out there on a very large scale and I don't know how to do that. And Okay, here's this pain and suffering inside me. But what I'm doing now is I've been sharing love and energetics with other people. And it's just putting me into these deeper states of joy and gratitude. And what's happening now is I'm feeling really good. And I'm thinking, well, how am I get my work out there? Well, here's a new thought. What if you just trust life? What if you just trust the universe that if I'm feeling really good, opportunities will open up and I don't have to control, dominate, make it happen, manipulate, try to push something through. I can just live my life in joy and somehow something magnificent is going to happen. Maybe I'm talking to you, right? Something is going to happen that's going to trigger this. How many words are there for love? Maybe there are hundreds or thousands of flavors of love, just to put a, a picture on it. Now, I'm thinking that as I'm receiving love from more and more people using this technique, it's affecting me in ways, but I, just like if you eat a delicious soup, you can't discern all the ingredients in the soup. I can't, I don't have words for what I'm experiencing, but what I'm doing is I'm receiving deeper and deeper kinds of love and trust and openness and allow, allowing this and, and so I made a list of like 60 different gifts we can share with each other. And that's going to happen at my new seminar. But what we're going to do is I wish I could figure out a way to do this online, but there's no proper way. So I'm going to be teaching it in Cancun, Mexico at a, a gorgeous resort where people can just forget about their lives, spend a few days and just be totally transformed. And one of the beauties about this is that once it's implanted, even if you're not ready to receive it now, it's still there. So what will happen to me, I had about a month where I was having trouble sleeping. I was, it got really hot here. I was dehydrated. I was having foot and leg cramps during the night. I wasn't sleeping much. And I was having problems with parasites and not sleeping. And my cat was waking me up. So I went about a month without sleeping well. And, and this was really valuable because you know how it is when you're kind of cranky and you didn't get enough sleep and your body's not feeling good. So I'd be kind of, starting my day grinding and not feeling like I'm having a good day. And then for no reason during the day, I would pop into these blissful, joyous, grateful states of conscious. I just put something in the wastebasket and all of a sudden I'm overwhelmed with gratitude. Oh, really? Oh, that's... Well, I turn on the tap and all of a sudden I'm just flushed with like incredible levels of joy because I've tapped in on these vibrations and I've been affected by other people's love. Maybe my friend Brian, who shared with me his energy today, is able to, well, I know he does, he receives love from his wife and is transformed by her love in a way I'm not familiar with. But I received it today. Now, when I received it, I wasn't in a particularly good mood and I felt like I'm only getting one or 2% of it. Doesn't matter, it's still there. And now I can feel it more strongly because I'm ready to receive it. So when people attend this, even if your life only changes three degrees, that a ship changing three degrees goes to another continent. And then I've even figured out a way that the seminar is going to continue for a couple months after the seminar is over. 
because I'm going to have people taking photographs of the people they were connected with most deeply at the seminar. And every, they'll spend five minutes a day sending those people the gifts. And they're going to continue receiving for months after the seminar is over. So this is the most life-changing thing I've ever encountered because it's really about happiness. And a spiritual teacher I worked with for 15 years said, you know, they say, what's the, the point of living? What's the point of having these lifetimes? And they said, there's two primary focuses for everybody. Learning how to consciously create fun and learning how to consciously create reality. Well, by being in a state of joy, everything becomes fun. That's true. Yeah, I mean, you know, you go down, you go to the market to pick something up. It was fun. But if you're suffering, you know, going to the market's a drudgery. It's painful. I'm I'm in line instead of just feeling the joy of life and sending love and and the other thing is consciously creating reality. Well, guess what? I wrote a book called Hacking the Law of Attraction about how to use a different metaphysics to allow manifestation much more easily and fluidly. Well, when you're having fun, you're not contradicted within yourself. And then there's no pushback against that manifestation and allowing that manifestation to love you, which is one of the great secrets in that book, is how you receive from a possible future. Well, if you're not if you're not fighting yourself, you don't have to try to get to a space of good feeling, you're already there. And this whole workshop is about being changed by love. It is exactly what's going to happen to everybody there, even those who are resistant. Even if somebody manages to maintain self-pity throughout the entire workshop, it doesn't matter. They still received it, and when they're ready to just pop out, they're going to find they are more because it's already affecting them. But that's not going to happen because people are going to start to feel it. And when you feel it, you just ride the wave. Like, here's a good feeling. Oh, that feels good. Okay, let me melt into it. So we'll have times where we'll be giving and times where we'll be receiving and times where we'll just kind of like spend five minutes just letting yourself melt into these new states. And we're not going to do 30-minute meditation. We'll give you know, three, five minutes, something like that to just let it in more deeply and be changed by the love. How I take what you told me that you've been receiving love from people. You've been working for decades with this. Yeah. Right. And a lot of people are grateful for you. I know these people in person, people who yeah. are grateful, have this great, uh, grateful feeling towards you. Mm -hmm. So in life, it is like um, a, a law, a universal law. What you give, we receive, right? You are giving this, you are giving this information, giving this um, positiveness, these techniques, this tool yeah. for the life, and are receiving this back. Mm -hmm. And you are being touched by this like it is intense now, right? And the other yeah. thing, so I want to say something else, another thing, but uh, the conclusion about this is that what you're describing at this event in Cancun can be a movement. These people yes. being tangled. Yes. giving and receiving love and we can create a network and create a real uh, movement this is this. exactly what I'm intending and we'll start with this core group who chooses to come and we'll be pathfinders, we'll create a movement and it will continue to grow but there's one other thing and this is theoretical right now and I'm usually right when I come up with something like this but I don't know it to be true yet so I'm just going to hold it theoretically this workshop is an antidote to negative ego. But I suspect that what this workshop really, I call it becoming more, but I think that's like not really beginning to encompass it. This is healing negative ego. It is accessing dimensions of love. It's healing ourselves on a soul spiritual level. And it's allowing ourselves to fulfill our chosen destinies in a way that I hadn't really thought was possible. So while I first thought it was, oh, I'll be sharing the gifts and I'll, I'll be able to have a photographic memory or something like that. No, it's much more significant than that. Yes, we will share, like if somebody has incredible musical talent and somebody wants to receive musical talent, here, share it with me. Okay, and maybe we'll be able to download more quickly. And, and another thing about the download I wanna say is sometimes 
you only feel like you're able to download two or three percent of it. Fair enough. Well, that would take the ship in a whole different direction. But maybe next week I'll have five percent. And then maybe next month I'll be seven percent or nine percent. And you don't have to get there all at once. You can gradually melt into these better spaces, these more joyous spaces. And that's another part of the delight of this workshop is that we're giving people the space to make these changes and they'll do it at their own pace, but kind of like the analogy of the soup, you know, you taste the soup and it's delicious, but you don't know what's in it. Does it have lemongrass? Does it have cinnamon? I don't know. That's sort of how the energy feels. It just feels like ah, something good. I can't define it. And with, I'm with like, you know, 50 or 100 people, whatever, 30 people, whatever shows up at, at this weekend in Mexico we're going to put on, that's going to be perfect because everybody's going to have so much time to share everything with each other. We're going to work with the inner child, the adolescent, the infant. We're going to be sending love all through. I think it's going to be the most profound shift. And people aren't going to have to take notes. You don't have to write anything down because it's it's experiential and you take it with you. Yes, you know, I was very curious about what, because you say uh, like Quantum Touch 2.0, for example, it is yeah. unlimited. Um, manifesting Miracles Unlimited. So there's no limit for what you can expect from this. And my question for you, I'm very interested in music. I play the piano. Me as an interpreter, I've, I've been running energy and make experiences with people. It is very interesting. Uh, the results. And um, I was wondering if I can uh, take some skills from some people. That's what I'm interested in. But now you're yeah. talking about another level. It is something very different, what you're saying, you know, it is like yeah. this movement. And, and one more thing, Richard, uh, I'd like to say, it is about the, you said allowance. It is like where people, the, uh, the easiest way is surrendering to negativeness it is very easy right it's yeah. like grass uh, grass in a field so yeah. the when you put some efforts and intent you can uh, do something else and this what you say all of that in summary would be like surrendering to gratefulness the gratefulness and it's an automatic uh, process yeah surrender. you end up surrendering to your joy to your gratitude to the love that you feel. And you realize that this is your natural state. Now, maybe you think you got it from somebody else, but it, it takes you home inside yourself because when you feel joyful, grateful, and, and happy, you just feel comfortable. You feel natural inside yourself and you have more to give other people and you're more able to receive from them. What this work does is it takes me out of my pain body. And I get into my joy body, if I call it that, or whatever we're gonna word we're gonna we're gonna come up with new words for this as we go along. Yeah. But, and it's still fairly new to me to be able to do all this. But I realize that the more I take care of myself physically, and I do a lot to take care of myself physically, but the more I take care of myself physically, the easier it is to be in this joy body, as I'll use that term again. And so, it, it really makes sense that we can access these states it's so important that we heal the ego yes that we connect to the depth of our joy yes a lot of people have been appreciative of my work for a long time but i didn't feel it because i'm not in touch with them and i'm not experiencing it and and i, I mean there's tens of thousands of stories of people using my work and i have no idea what happened i but don't hear about it what is the difference now? What happened that you are connected to these all of these feelings? Yes. Because I show people how to send love energetically with quantum touch and where to send it in spiritual anatomy. And then while it's happening, I know how to receive it. These are the elements that make it work. And then I'm also coaching people. Remember how we had in level two, how we had to you know, send the energy and essence of it because we didn't want to, we don't have to do that anymore. We don't have to worry about it. We're, we're just going to go straight and send the gifts because we don't have to filter it anymore. We've taken it to the next level. 
where we don't have to try to be careful. We just send the law and it's all filtered for us. It's, it's really, you know, it's all an evolution. I'm using stuff from level one quantum touch, level two, self-created health, secret nature of matter. I'm using stuff about hacking the law of attraction in this workshop. And all of it is coming together as if it was one piece of one thing so that we can become more. And are you planning to write a book about it? Oh, yeah. But I'm just taking notes now because I'm still learning about it. And I think I'll know a lot more after the seminar. And maybe the second and third time I teach it, I'll know even more. And I have really incredible stories to tell. And yeah, I'm going to write a book about this for sure. I'm not even sure what, if we'll still call it Becoming More. It may be a great title. Yes. I'm, I don't know yet. So this is part of the fun of creating something new is that I'm changed by my creation more than I had imagined. I'd say my amount of time per day that I'm feeling intense gratitude has probably gone up five times, maybe eight or 10 times, depending on the day. I've had some days where I was just 100% grateful all day. And I've never done that before. You know, I've always kind of, I'm very moody. You know, it's kind of like a personality flaw. You know, half an inch, like the song said, half an inch of water and you think you're going to drown. You know, like, oh, something bad happened. All of a sudden I'm in this moody thing. So I had a couple of people not keep appointments with me this week. Yeah, you know, it's fine. I'm just doing great. So if that's, if they don't want to respect time and they don't want to respect, okay, it's all right. I can deal with it. It's fine. I can just continue holding my joy and well, maybe if they want to be friends, that'll be great. But if they don't, you know, there's plenty of people here. It's a lovely community, really sweet place. Yes. So. What you said, you say in all the interviews I watch it, you like to say that this became for years now a second nature for you, right? Yeah. And then um, this second nature, it is like, for me, it is like one, se one secret of well-being in, in the life, you know, have a good life. So whoever is there in this workshop can receive this from you. You can yeah. you can share this this skill, right? Of having this as a second nature. Yeah. The thing is, is that everybody is holding incredible gifts. Everybody has some place within their life where they have freedom, where they're connecting to source, whether they call it that or not. Everybody has something extraordinary to share and to give. And everybody has something that I don't know anything about. They've yeah. got places of freedom within themselves, places of joy, places of gratitude, places of love. They've got, an ability, they've got abilities that I don't know anything about. So I'm thrilled to attend my seminar. <laughs> Yes. Because I'm going to be giving and receiving like everybody else. And I'm just going to be so happy to receive these gifts. And I don't know what is going to be unleashed, whether it'll be like a kind of genius or it's going to be a freedom or, you know, maybe I'll be able to astral project. I have one friend who can go into samadhi states freely. I'm planning to call her soon and say, hey, can you share this with me? And they're going to oneness with, with God, goddess, all that is and experience the the totality of the universe all simultaneously maybe i can only let that in by two percent but isn't that exciting that if i can open up to two percent more of a samadhi state there's no harm in being slow yes of course all that matters is the progress that's all that matters is that you're open and you're progressing so there's nothing to fear this is just going to be fun and uh, what is the date of this workshop it's October 7 and 8. It's on the website. Uh, and it's going to be in Cancun, which is like a real destination place for people. Oh, yeah. So I'm probably going to arrive a couple of days early and enjoy the swimming pools and the beach and, and, and maybe connect with people who also arrive early and we'll have some fun hanging out. And uh, so it's just going to be a vacation, except yeah. you're going to have to leave, you're going to leave your old self behind because you're going to bring the new self home or wherever you choose to go afterwards. Yes, and there will be this moment of sharing this 
these experiences being shared, different ways of perceiving themselves, and at the end, connections after that. That's very important. There will be all the connections after it, but I'm going to show how you actually receive the gifts, and it, and you have to choose it. If you don't choose it, you're not really receiving. So you have to consciously open yourself up to receive what you, to actually let in what you received. And it doesn't take but seconds, but you have to choose it. How, what you think and what you feel, those are the choices that you're making moment to moment. Yes. Now, this whole seminar is about how do you want to feel? Do you want to let the gift in right now? Or not? If you let the gift in, you have to just kind of surrender to that joy and that gratitude and the energy that's coming to you. And as you get, as you do it more, you start living in that vibration all the time. And then you don't have to push and try to make things happen because law of attraction, you're not carrying that pain vibration to attract more pain. Now, maybe you've got 30, 40, 60 years of backlog of beliefs and attitudes and thoughts and feelings and choices, decisions that have created this train going down the track of suffering. All right. And maybe it's not going to turn around on a dime. But as you continue holding the energy, opportunities, options will open up more and more as you hold the space. And then you start realizing what we call pronoia. There's paranoia. The world is against me. Pronoia is the universe is looking out on my behalf. That's good. And I, can and I can relax behind it. It's conspiring for my joy. Pro noia. And so what this seminar is, it's making the paradigm shift to realize that we're loved and the universe is looking out for us. But we do it by shifting our internal well-being so completely and one of the things I'm I'm thinking about accessing more, I've slowed the aging process down, but I think we can reverse it deeply and profoundly. I mean, I mean, I'm stronger now than I was in my 20s. And I've got no joint issues and I'm on no medications. And I can sprint down the street, you know, as easily as I ever could. But it's hard out here in cobblestones, but that's another story. So, but I think that we can do more. And that's one of the things yogis could do is maintain eternal youth. But there's a caveat to that. And that is you really have to want to be here. And as the world has been getting crazier and crazier, sometimes I've been wondering, am I really committed to this? But as I'm now finding these bliss states, I think I can just hang out with my friends and we can create a good world, however crazy the outside gets. Yeah. Yes, and um, when I started experimenting Quantum Touch 2.0, Quantum Touch mm -hmm. uh, basic level and 2.0, I realized that this was a tool to be present. And now what, by listening to what you're saying that uh, it seems that um, it is um, a tool to where being anchored in the present moment, it is like what, it is like just one stage of that. It is beyond that. It is... It, it, we, it, this brings us to the present moment. There is no space to ego and you are open to something higher. It is something transcendental. Right? Exactly. I'm so looking forward to receiving your gifts. You? Receiving yes. mine? No. Yes. I want to receive yours. <laughs> you will. But I'm looking forward to receiving yours because everybody is carrying these unique flavors of love. And, if they're, and you're a very sincere person. It shows through. And so that quality of love and sincerity that you bring is going to be something that I'm going to get to incorporate. I went, oh, that's going to be so much fun to bring in another. But what's going to happen when we've got 30 or 100 people who are all sharing the totality, like, like all the major flavors of love are going to be there, represented in ways that we can't even, we don't have no words for these things. And you won't have a word when you feel it either. It just feels good. So you just let in the good feeling and you don't have to sort out, well, which person gave me that one? I don't know. It just feels good. 
And, and as you receive it, you become transformed. And then your reality becomes transformed because the reality is a mirror of the thoughts, feelings, choices, decisions, the beliefs, attitudes, and all the rest. And as your beliefs and attitudes shift and your thoughts change, you have to attract a different reality. But you don't even have to try because once you're holding these energies fluidly and naturally, the reality has to bend and turn and, and reveal gifts. And the reality will start gifting you in ways that you don't understand or imagine. And by the way, the functional definition of a miracle is when something happens that far exceeds your expectations. Yes, I like it. Yes. yes. When something unexpected happens, you say simply that, right? Something unexpected happens. It is really good. So again, I'll put the, the information about this workshop uh, in, the, in the description of the video. And let's do this, Richard, if you have availability. Um, I invite you to, after this workshop, you can mm -hmm. you come here, you can bring someone, someone else, some people, and share this experience here. So after this workshop, can share this yeah. experience. You know, yeah, these, we'll, right. what we'll do is we'll, we'll get three or four or five people from the workshop to join the call, and we'll have a great time. Yeah, that's what I'm proposing. Not traveling. Now we have this technology that helps a lot. And then... It really the other the other advantage of this is that there will be on on the YouTube channel and whoever whatever pe the person is in the world can see that afterwards, right? Absolutely. Okay, so thank you so very much, Richard. Thank it's you. been a real joy to share this with you and to be able to communicate all the kinds of things that I'm going through now, and uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm very curious to know how this this uh event it will be a big event you know uh, like you might only have you might only have 20 people you yeah. might have a hundred it's going to be perfect regardless of what it is because everybody there is going to be having that intention and we're all going to be changed from it yes but what i mean with big events is not fireworks it is something uh very profound in this sense there will be a big event if there it are 50 people, 100 people, there will be yeah, a big event. Whatever it is, it's going to make the biggest shift in people's lives I've ever imagined. And it's only going to get better after the thing's over because you're going to keep letting it in for weeks, months, and years after the seminar is over. Yeah. All right. Because Perfect. We know how to do it now. We know, we know the technology to doing it. Yeah. No, yes. right. Perfect. Right. Thank you very much, Richard. I'm looking forward to having another chat with you. I look forward to it as well. We'll definitely do that.